If you're a Biblical Hebrew student and you've been studying for any amount of time, you've come to your realization in your study of Hebrew that in vocabulary terms, a lot of things, they sound alike. And I hear that complaint a lot from Hebrew students that are learning vocabulary. It all sounds the same. Well, I'm going to teach you today in this short video a method that's based on the ancient art of memory, how to keep those words that sound alike, which are called homophones, separate. It is a unique method of learning these homophones instead of just drilling and drilling with rote memory drills to keep them separate that in the long run really don't work anyways and they don't encode the information or impress your memory in the long term anyways. I'm going to show you a method that I've never seen before, completely unique, that is going to enable you in a much easier and quicker method to keep these sound alikes or homophones separate. So let's first talk about homophones briefly in the English language. These sound alike words that are spelled differently. Homophones sound alike but are spelled differently. Homonyms are words that are spelled exactly alike, therefore they sound alike as well. Today we're dealing with homophones, those words that sound similar but are spelled differently. Now think about this. If you are learning Biblical Hebrew, what is your primary contact with the language? Is it in speaking or is it in reading? It's in reading. So that is your first help right there. Your primary contact, if not your sole contact with Hebrew, with classical or Biblical Hebrew, is it going to be in reading. So you've already got visual cues. You simply need to learn how to leverage those visual cues to your advantage, to your memory's advantage, and to retain them and keep them distinct. But the problem is, is you've never been shown that. You've been told you simply need to learn these by rote memory drilling. And that is ineffectual. So, let's talk about these English homophones for just a minute. Let's take a couple examples. You have add a TV ad, or if I need to know what 2 plus 2 is, I can add them together. What is the difference? The final D separates these two English homophones. One more. And by doing this, you're going to learn the principle of how to keep Hebrew homophones separate as well. I tell you what, why don't we go and meet for a drink? After we meet, perhaps we can eat a meal of meat. Now what is the difference? Your vowels are different. The only thing that separates meat and meat are E and A. Now if you were learning English, I would imagine that's a pretty small difference. Just like for those of us who are learning Biblical Hebrew, these vowel markings and so forth, they seem very trivial. But to us, well, you just learn E and A. Now, the first step is, is to recognize what is different. It may seem obvious, but a lot of people just, they gloss over that. They don't recognize that first step. And the first step to memorizing anything is observation and attention. 